Okay, I believe I'm going to check, but we are live, Nina. We are live. Well, at least I think I'm live. Once someone tells me that I'm live, then I will believe that I'm live. <laughs> but we are live. Uh, let me see here. I don't see it on my page yet. Let me just see. Okay, let me go here. Let me go here. Hold on. I don't think I touched anything. There we go. I think we're popping up live in just a second. Uh, okay. Uh, mic check, mic check. Can you hear me over there, Nina? I can hear you. Great. Oh, that's that's great. That's great. Look, is for those folks that are there, we're 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 live. At least we're going to be live. Um, and do me a favor, because I'm excited. We've got a really a really special episode this evening, or this morning, or this afternoon. You know, for some people, Nina, you know it's afternoon. You know that, don't you? Right, because, well, I'm on the East Coast, so it's night. It's definitely night, but I know I have family on the West Coast, and it's kind of really early evening for them, I guess. Ah, yes, it is, depending on where you are in the world. And for those folks out there that are joining, by the way, uh, do me a favor for those folks that are just tuning in. Let me know that we can hear you. We're going to get kicked off very shortly, but I always like to do a check just to make sure we can be heard because sometimes we get going and believe it or not, nobody can hear us. And I did well, a whole episode like that. Did I tell you that one time, Nina? No. No, seriously, I did a whole episode and I never got a chance to make sure that I could be heard. So for those folks that are tuning in, do me a favor, do me a favor, look right below the video, look right below the video and just type, we can hear you. We can hear you. So do me a favor, look below the video and say, we can hear you. I see Tony Moore just joined on. Hey, Tony Moore. Hey, hey Pamela. <laughs> um, thanks for so much for joining. D Bolden said, good evening, Shay Brown. Okay. Oh, D Bolden said she can hear us. This is good. This is good. Excellent. Whew. I needed someone to let me know we could be heard, which is always cool. All right. So we're going to get started in five, four, three, two, one. Uh oh, hold up. I hit the wrong button. Here we go. Five. <laughs> We'll be, we'll be live. Five. Don't worry about it. They'll edit all this behind the scenes stuff. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, it's going to happen. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. And I just got an applause from none other than Nina because she's like, yeah. We're live. Yes, they can hear us. Tanisha Webb says we can hear you. Uh, Mwala Henry says we can hear you. Hey, Mwala, send me a note, Mwala. Send me a message. We've got to have you and the wife on. They're doing some amazing things, helping people write their story, publish their book. Um, just an amazing, amazing human being. Um, as everyone that's joining right now are, welcome, by the way, to the lab, the number one business development revenue focused late night show in the country they gotta change it to be global baby they gotta change it to be global <laughs> they really need to do that not because of me but because of all the entrepreneurs out there all of the speakers all of the authors everyone is out there right now that's making a difference in the world and i'm always excited because the conversation we're going to have this evening there's some conversation we have, and it's really geared, Nina, around helping folks get results in their life. And, and I know, Nina, you're, you're very familiar with one of our beliefs. And for those folks that are hearing it right now, we have one mantra. We have one belief here at the Happy Entrepreneur Network, and it is the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. Let me read that and make sure you got that clearly. The results that show up in your life are just as important as the results they show up in your what? In your bank account. Oh. And, and sometimes when we do these episodes, sometimes we have these shows, it's all about results. Where did it go? It's all about results in your life. But this evening or this morning or this afternoon, no matter what time it is for you, it's all really about results in your bank account. No, seriously. It's about using a tool, having a technique that truly allows you to have multiple lead generation strategies and i'm gonna do something here i might screw up we're gonna try it out multiple lead generation strategies. oh look at that i'm getting pretty good so one of the keys to lead generation systems for my entrepreneurs hey leslie hey vice one of my uh, uh, keys i will say 
to lead generation is systems. And one of the things you want to do is you want to develop multiple lead generation systems. Now, this is important. And you might say, Shay, why is this important? Why is that something you have to do? The reason it's important is because leads represent hope. And when you have no leads, you have no hope. And as entrepreneurs, one of the things that we look for is we have a vision to really help the people we were called to serve. And one of the things that I share, and I've, I've been sharing as we've been having this paradigm shift in this conversation, is about being a sales visionary. And we're going to get started. I'm going to bring Nita on. I'm going to bring up in just a moment. You're going to, uh, they're, they're going to get a sneak preview. Oops, I hit the wrong one. Uh, let me see. Current application. Okay. That didn't work, did it? Let me see here. What did I do wrong? Click here. Click they here. already see me, Shay. Huh? They can already see me. I know that. I know that. I, this is not my first rodeo, Nina. Oh, my gosh. Okay. For folks that are tuning in, by the way, we're going to be going behind the scenes into LinkedIn. That's what we're going to be talking about. It'll be one of the lead generation systems that we're going to use in our business. And we'll be using my account as one of the primary sources. And you have Nina, the founder of social media success networks she has her own facebook group vincent um she also teaches other techniques on how to use media as a platform to really grow your business but this morning or this evening or this afternoon the focus is going to be on linkedin so for everyone who's tuned in right now for everyone who's listening do me a favor do me a favor look right below the video look right below the video and just type these words type these words it's time to serve just put it's time to serve and and yeah it's your time i get it but it's time to serve the people we were called to serve and nina is going to help us do that in in a way that we don't come across as being arm twisting in a way that we don't come across as being pushy as a way we don't come across as being aggressive but in a way to really help us achieve our goals so nina how you doing over there I'm doing fantastic, Shay. You know I love being on your show. Do you really? I do. <laughs> I mean, you make me laugh. You know that. And hey, what's? I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a friend that just makes you laugh. Laughter is great for the soul. Yeah, yeah. Laughter is indeed great for the soul. Nina, just a quick question, and we're going to get going. Uh, I see Silver Rain said it's time to serve because it is time to serve right now in this present moment. Um, Nina, why do people have a fear of, I'm not saying a fear of really using LinkedIn, but why do they avoid LinkedIn as one of the tools they can use? Because I think I read there's like 225 million users, some number like that, it might be 450 now, um, that are on LinkedIn. Why do most entrepreneurs not use LinkedIn as a platform to connect with their clients, to stay in front of their clients, or to engage other folks and share the problem that they solve? So I think people avoid uh, LinkedIn because of it's an unknown. Some people don't know. They know it's a business platform. They're not sure what they're supposed to do. So they kind of avoid it. And then when they start thinking about it, they get frustrated because they feel like there's a bunch of do's and don'ts that they don't know. And so my goal is to help them understand what the platform is about and how easy you can use it. Ah, so it, it is easy to use. And I know we, we started um, last episode. If you missed the last episode, you can go over to happyentrepreneurstribe.com. And we talked about LinkedIn and we talked about some of the, the key components of LinkedIn and what's important about it. And one of the things that I'd like for you to do, Nina, if you can, just one of the things I know we were looking at, at my page and I know um, I, it looks like somebody wants to connect with me, huh? Is yes. That, is that right? Do I click on here? You can. Yeah. I don't even know this person. So I, I should accept them, huh? Okay, I'm. Uh, maybe, maybe not. All right. So what's the benefit if I if I accept somebody and I shouldn't accept them? I mean, what's the damage? So the damage is is because I don't know this person, right? So you can decide whether you want people in your network that um, you're not directly familiar with or hasn't at least sent you a message with their connection request to let you know why they want to connect with you. I mean, mm. you can connect with anybody that you want to, but you want to be um, making sure that you're having valuable connections. And valuable is relative to what you're trying to achieve. 
Ah, so values what tells it to what I to what I'm trying to see. Okay, and I do I see I have I have a feed here as well. I don't know who this is in my feed, but we have a feed here as well as I see. So what I'm going to do, I know the night of this morning, this afternoon, we're going to get into it. Um, I have not looked at my LinkedIn. One of the things that I failed to do for the last almost four years, Stephanie Smith or Sharon or Hey Anisha, one of the things I failed to do is I wasn't using LinkedIn at all. I didn't even. Matter of fact, when I tried to go sign into LinkedIn on the last episode, you remember, I had to get my account verified again, right? Which is not a good thing to do. Is that correct? That That's correct. Well, LinkedIn has added additional levels of security if you want to activate that for your profile. But if you don't know your password, you got to go through the process so you can get access to your profile. Okay. So I'm going to first click on here, Nina, and I know we're going to get into how they can connect with people. We'll talk about how they should, what they should say when they're connecting with them as well. Um, Anisha said you need to have valuable connections. Hey, hey, um, Pam Love Manning is on. Anisha's on. Constance Carter, nobody works harder. Hey, Constance, one of the things we're doing and um, th- that, I, that I discovered, and this is for Constance, this is for everyone that's out there as well. Let me see if I can click around here. I'm kind of like on the control board here, is one of the things that I learned is that in business and Constance you would probably agree with this Constance we've got to have you on soon you would probably agree with this is that you need to have multiple lead generation systems and what I'm finding for the average person is they don't have two three or four or five lead generation systems they're either dependent on referrals maybe they're going to some networking events and a few friends have connected them with somebody if they're lucky if they're lucky but what I want everyone to write these words down this is why we're moving to linkedin as an untapped frontier look right below the video look right below the video and put down you you must have multiple lead generation systems like look right below the video hey gloria coleman hey you even got trevor otts out there by the way nina so you know you got you got the man himself out there watching (laughs) so you know what that's like that's pretty cool i told you i told you this was all about Trying to figure out how to get back over, by the way, Nina. You want to know what I'm doing over here? There we go. <laughs> I'm trying something new, everyone. But look right below the video in all serious, because we're about to put the pedal to the metal. We're about yeah. to use LinkedIn like it's never been used before. So look right below the video and put down multiple lead generation systems. So Constance Carter said you have to have multiple lead generation systems. Now, Constance Carter is a pioneer. For those that have connected with her, hey, Eartha Harris, for those that have connected with Constance Carter, we're going to go connect with her right now on LinkedIn. And then Constance, we're going to call you. How's, how's that, Nina? I'm asking her toughest challenge. See, Nina's, Nina's up for the challenge tonight. She said, Shay, we can rock and roll. Okay, yes. so Constance Carter, we're not going to pull Trevor's up because remember, Trevor had a picture you said it didn't look like Trevor. Uh, but don't, I'm, I, won't, I won't tell Trevor you said that. I think you just said it. <laughs> okay, Cheryl Pope Clark said you must have multiple lead generation systems. Gloria Coleman said you must have multiple lead generation systems. So everyone go over. If you have LinkedIn, I want you to sign in. Sign in to LinkedIn. And then there's two things I want you to do. The first thing I want you to do is connect with me on LinkedIn. So you're going to connect with me. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to connect with Nina. Now, her name is right there in the profile. Nina Abdul, A-B-D-U-L hyphen Wakil. So you're going to connect with Nina. Okay. Then we're going to do an exercise together. We're going to go over to Constance Carter. Now, um, uh, Nina, Constance Carter is pretty cool. I'm going to call her in a moment. She's pretty cool. But tell us a little bit about Constance Carter's page. Um, First, how do I tell if I'm connected with her? Because I don't even know. That's embarrassing. So right next to her name, you'll see the the first, the number one ST. Yes. yes. Okay. So that shows that you are connected to her because that means you are first degree connection to her. Okay. Okay. Now, Constance Carter, who I'm going to call Constance. That's your cue in just a moment. Um, she's the chief executive officer of Catalyst Real Estate, family of companies. Got it? Um, now tell us one thing that Constance Carter can do to make this page a little more appealing. And then we're going to call her and learn a little more about Constance Carter. Some of the activities she has. She didn't know I was going to do this by the way, but it's okay. She's cool. All right. What's one thing she can do? So all the way to the top, the, the, one of the first things she w- could do is to create a cover image and replace that blue constellation, um, default image to something that's more meaningful for her and her brand. 
Ah, so first thing, all right. So I need I I, I need to replace mine too. Um, so Trevor Otz, I need a I need a LinkedIn banner. <laughs> Constance Carter. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this banner. Um, why do you suggest that, Nina? And then I'm gonna call Constance. She's think listening, of, by the way. Right. So think of it as you go to someone's um, Facebook page and they don't have a cover image. It, either they're not real. They could be. It could be a fake profile. Or they're they're dated. It doesn't it doesn't make you think that they're current. So it leaves an impression that you she could be missing opportunities because people may turn away from her profile. Okay, okay, okay. So I like what she has here. Now, where would she have a link? So let's let's say we want to see what Constance Carter does. So everyone can actually go to Constance Carter's page. They they should connect with her. Can you put your link like inside of your bio? So you can put the words, but they're, it, it won't be hot linkable. Like someone can't click on it, but they can copy and paste it somewhere. Okay. So let's see if so, she has a link. Okay. Constance truly model is nobody works harder than Constance Carter. Constance and her husband Warren have four children. I like that. Um, Cause she has, she has a book as well. Keeping score. What you need to do to make your credit grow. Okay. We're going to talk about how to connect people you don't know in a moment. I'm just going through this here. So where would Constance put her link at? More. So she she could have it under her. She could put it in the text of that body. Okay, right here. Um, okay. Yeah, she could put it at towards the bottom because a lot of people are used to seeing contact information or call to actions at the bottom of the summary. That section you're t- looking at is called the summary. Oh, I like that. She has a book, Keeping Score. I wonder. I wonder what that's about. We're gonna have to ask her. Okay. Like, yeah. I got it. I like this. I like this. Look, this now. Now we're going to talk about who Constance want to contact with. And we're going to see if we can help her this evening. Let me. Hey, everyone is out there. Do me a favor because Constance is pretty cool. She's allowing us to look at her page without without her permission. So that's pretty cool. Um, do me a favor. Look right below the video and say, Constance, you're doing great. Constance, you're doing great. <laughs> and, and I'm going to call her. Let's let's see if I let me see if I call her. Um, she has a secret number. You know that, right? But that's OK. I'm going to call Constance Carter. I'm seeing 209. Okay, I think this is it here. <laughs> You're not going to speak. No, I'm going to call her. She's, she's actually in California. So I'm not waking anyone up. Don't worry. She's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a great day, Constance Carter. How are you? I'm awesome. How Good. Now you're gonna have to speak up because you're live with about you know several thousand eavesdroppers right now to eavesdrop on oh, our conversation. Lord. Okay. Okay. So tell us, um, tell us what you do first because I um, yeah. Tell us what you do first. Although we're okay. on your page. <laughs> so I'm embarrassed because I do try to update it, but I don't know all the ins and outs of LinkedIn. So I'm just gonna preface it. So I haven't updated the profile in a long time, but I do. You know, I'll post every now and then. So, what is it that I do? I'm the CEO of Catalyst Real Estate Professionals and a host of other companies, Carter Financial Solutions. And then um, I have a few books. I don't even have my latest books out. I think I only have one book on there. So, I know I'm missing out on opportunities. No, no, it's, it's okay. So big, it's okay. I mean, okay. We're, this this is not a beat you up conversation. I just picked you okay. up because one of the things I admire about Constance Carter, and she's a speaker, she's a broker. I mean, she's an amazing person is that she shows up and she teaches wherever she is all over the country, but she's also willing to be taught. Like she's a great student as well. So I felt comfortable calling you. Thank you. you. Uh, thank you for being transparent. And sometimes people think that leaders don't step back sometimes and be followers. And so I, I appreciate you being open. And I was embarrassed. I hadn't opened up my, my LinkedIn page in three and a half years. So don't worry about it. <laughs> I got busted out on the last episode. <laughs> So I need some help. It's actually a really great conversation. So I'm super excited to be a part of it. Yes. In fact, when you go look at my profile, there's Shea Brown with hair back in the day. I tried to let my hair grow a little bit. So y'all, so I, I even had on a white shirt and a red tie. That's when I was a young man, by the way. I was a young entrepreneur. Now I'm old school. I'm like, look, I'm just wearing a t-shirt. I don't even put a tie on no more, y'all. T-shirt and flip-flops. All right, Constance. So oh I'm going to ask Nina, and I'm going to ask you in a minute, Nina, um, should Constance Carter have a business LinkedIn page? She says she does speaking. She has several businesses. Um, can you talk about that for a moment or can she put everything under her personal page? Well, it sounds like she could benefit from having a company page for her businesses. So if she wants to make sure that they're referenced on LinkedIn, which is a great thing for any uh 
company and business owner to have. And then she can still list them in her experience so that there's a connection between her company pages and herself. But it sounds like she's also a speaker and an author. Yes, she she is. may she, she may is. want to if she wants to highlight that she could do that from her personal profile and still have links to her company pages. Okay, okay, okay. So one of the, one one things we're talking about today, Constance Carter, is really a way to be able to use LinkedIn to connect with our existing clients, but also as a way to go out to other folks who are clients that we have or prospects. Does that make sense? So I'm going to talk about yeah, some of the best practices. That's why, that's why this conversation is so important, and that's what definitely piqued my interest in uh, listening in. So, so let me let me let me ask you, Constance Carter. I know that you are a speaker. I also know that you are a broker. Um, let's just talk about on the, the speaking side for a moment. So we'll help you out here just on the speaking side. Um, tell us what you speak on and, um, what type of groups or organizations would you want to speak at? See, um, I'm, I'm gonna put her on a spot in five minutes, not, not right now, but I'm gonna ask her to give some closing comments to inspire and to encourage. That's your cue, by the way, not right now. That's your cue to get your thoughts ready. But first tell us what you speak on and then tell us who would be a good power partner for you for you to follow, for you maybe to be part of that network. Mm. Then I'm going to ask Nina to help us search for groups that you should join on LinkedIn. You follow me? Because that's okay. another way for you to reach into areas of people who don't know you, who you are. And for everyone watching, it's not about Constance Carter, although she picked up the phone when I called. Um, it's about every one of you using LinkedIn as a way to extend your brand, extend your message, to extend your movement into areas where you are solving problems because you have a vision for the people you were called to serve. You are a sales visionary and a sales visionary understands that sales helps you develop the resources that you need in order to execute the vision you have for yourself, the vision you have for your loved ones and the vision you have for the people you were called to serve. So I'm going to ask Constance Carter to tell us about the vision she has for the people she was called to serve to speak to. So therefore, you know that she's a speaker and she has a vision for the people she was called to serve. Now, as you're out there listening right now, I can't see you. Constance can't see you, but we can. But I mean, you, you can see us, I should say, but we can't see you. So I'm going to ask you to go right below the video, right below the video. And you have a moment to put these words. My vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. My vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. So my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to help them transform their lives. I don't know. My vision is to help them be able to be paid more for what they know than they can do. Uh, my vision is for them to work less, work smarter, and be able to leave a legacy for their family. I don't know what your vision is, but one thing I do know is you saw Constance Carter was posting in the group and she's someone you want to connect with. But I don't want to just connect with you because you sent her a LinkedIn message. I want Constance Carter <laughs> to know what your vision is for the people you were called to serve. Now, Nina is going to talk about how you can get those resources, right? Because sales helps you develop the resources you need to execute the vision you have for the people you were called to serve. So maybe you need to improve your marketing. Well, you need resources. You need to hire people. You need resources. Uh, um, you need to improve your branding. You need resources. And we're going to talk about how to get that. All right, Constance Carter, just take a moment to tell us. Um, um, you can say, um, I have a vision for the people I'm called to serve to blank. And you can tell us, you know, what your vision is for the people that you want to speak to and how you want to empower their lives. Okay, Shay, so so my vision for the people I serve is women, particularly women of color, to really um, show the possibility of wealth creation and, and um, you know, just being from me, particularly being homeless and uh, creating a life of wealth and legacy for myself and my, for my children. I want to show other people the possibility. So that's the okay. vision I have. So, Those are the people that I like to connect with. All right, so let me recap in case they heard you. Say, say that first sentence again. I think I heard... Uh, Nina, maybe you can type this in the group four and then Constance go type this for herself in a moment. But um, um, the vision, I mean, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is now every one of you are writing these words, but you're putting yours at the end. We're going to read some of the other visions. So Constance Carter know who's trying to connect with her. But I think I heard Constance Car Carter say my vision for the people I'm called to serve, specifically women of color. 
and you got that, Nina? Mm-hmm. Women of color to help them. And I didn't hear the other part. Help them, do you say, build a financial legacy? I didn't hear this part. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, financial legacy. All right. Um, so my vision for the people legacy. I'm called to serve, specifically women of color, is to help them build a financial legacy. A financial oh. legacy. Is that is that correct? Yep, that's perfect. All right, so we're going to help Constance Carter tonight, all of us. We're going to help Constance Carter um, connect with women of color, women of color um, who are helping other women build wealth or improve the quality of their lives so they can have financial freedom. I'm paraphrasing, I'm paraphrasing. And I'm going to ask Nina to say, man, how do we do that? How do we search? Where do we go? Now, as we're doing this for Constance, we're doing it for everyone else. So you can follow along. Now, if you're out there right now, you're like, you know what? I'm going to give, Shay. I believe in the giver's economy. I want to help Constance Carter right now. Constance Carter is not paying me a dime. I'm not sending her a dime. She's here because she showed up. Okay, she showed up. And part of life, as my good friend Ann Herika says, is you got to show up for your life. So she is here. And I'm going to ask her in a minute to give you some words of encouragement. I'm going to ask her to inspire all the entrepreneurs out there. Well, oh, I got a text. Oh. Constance, they want somebody, a couple people want to know women of color, are these um, entrepreneurs or are they professional women? I'm sorry, that's, good, that's a good question. I like they, are, that. they are ambitious women from all walks of life. So Ooh. I'm looking for people who want better for themselves. I like that. Ambitious women. You're, going, you're, you're finally catching on, Constance. You're, caught, you're catching on. You're getting there. <laughs> ambitious women. All right. So. Yes. So, uh, okay, so Constance Carter, I want you to talk to all the ambitious women out there. Now, I want you out there to do me a favor. Look, look right below the video. Look right below the video. And if you know of a women's group, a women's organization, maybe they're an entrepreneur, maybe they're a professional, maybe they're a chamber. Just look right below the video and say, look, you need to connect with X group. You need to connect with blank yeah. group at Constance Carter. And then Nina's going to help us. And I'm going to get off in a minute. Nina's going to help us go into LinkedIn, like real time, real time. And we're going to find some groups for you. How's that? That's excellent. Like I've never done that before. And then we're going to see what you should do when you connect with them. That's, that's Nina's job. I'm just hanging out tonight. So Constance Carter, yes. take, take a moment. Cause yes. I can't see my, my keyboard, but take a moment. Cause I'll go back. And, um, Nina, do you, do you, do you have the, do you have the notes? In, not notes. Do you have the, um, the page up so we can recognize people who are making comments and are helping out right now. Yes. I All right. Do. So can you, can you read a couple of people who are, who are helping out? Um, so we can make sure that we are reaching out to them. Go ahead. So I see Cheryl Pope Clark is saying my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to help them there, minority small business owners win government contracts by each, either helping them get their appropriate certifications, search opportunities, help with team building and proposal writing. Okay. Okay, good, good. I like that. So one of the things we want to do, Michelle Pilla, one of the things we want to do, Monica, is we also want to look at different groups that Constance Carter can target. Um, And some of you work with women groups as well. And you can share that right below the video, right below the video as well. Constance Carter, take a moment now. And uh, share some words of women for all of the ambitious women out there. Um, you've got two minutes. I'll give you two minutes. You gotta be loud. You gotta be clear. Ooh, I'm holding the microphone ooh, yes. to here. Yes. Now she got two minutes. So when you get to 15 seconds, I'm gonna say 15 seconds. I'm gonna whisper, but they're gonna all hear me say it. 15 seconds. Yes. Are you ready, Constance Carter? Now she's on the spot. She knows she's gonna do this, ladies and gentlemen. She did not know she's gonna do that, but you got Constance Carter right here. This is her profile. Connect with her on LinkedIn. All right, Constance Carter. No one does it harder, but Constance Carter. Ha <laughs> ha! Take it away. I'm trying. I'm trying. So, so Shay, thank you. So, you know, I, it blows my mind sometimes when I look at my life and where I am today and all the things that I've been able to accomplish, you know, being um, a CEO of uh, the largest African-American owned real estate firm in Northern California, um, uh, being a, an investor in a marijuana dispensary, um, you know, the flipping houses, all of the things that I, I am today and where I was just 18 years ago, being homeless, um, growing up in a house, you know, full of love. You know, my parents loved me, but I was abandoned at an early age, 14 by my mom. And I was kicked out of the house at 18 by my father um, when he got remarried. So I've had some hardships. You know, I had to 
scraped my way up and scraped my way through and worked in several um, jobs one minute, and, one and just tried to figure it out, just try to figure it out on my own. And so I've been able to really, you know, my husband and I, we've been together since I was 15. And we've really been able to create the life of our dreams and understand the possibilities. And we we were figuring it out. We haven't arrived. But my goal is to help people who are just like me, who have a vision for their life, who want more for their life, who may not know the possibilities, who may know the possibilities, but just help show them that it is possible to have everything that it is that they want. So I want to ha- help people that are just like me achieve everything that they can out of life because I know that they deserve it. Absolutely. We're dealing with Constance Carter. No one does it harder. Thanks a lot, Constance Carter. We're now going to help you build your list and find women of color that are out there who are ambitious, doing some amazing things. Nina, um, she'll hear us. Constance, thank, thanks a lot. I'm going to hang up. I know you're listening in. You rock. You... Oh, I know you Thank will. Thank you, Constance. All right, Nina, talk. All right, so Nina, go ahead. Let's let, let's talk Constance Carter through, and everyone that's listening, we're now going to talk about connecting with groups, and this is important because I was working with someone recently, Nina, and this was in the last 24 hours, and I was sharing with them what you were doing on this show, and I said, look, Constance Carter, I mean Constance Carter, um, Nina is helping folks use LinkedIn to grow their business, and we're going to be doing it real time, and she says, I don't use LinkedIn. I said, you don't have to use LinkedIn, but it's free. And if it's free, it's always for what? Me. And so I asked her, I asked her, I said, hey, look, I want you to watch and listen in because we're helping people grow their list. And this is very important for her. So she's probably listening right now. First, before you help Constance Carter, everyone do me a favor. Constance Carter stepped up, Michelle. Constance Carter stepped up, Monica. Constance Carter stepped up. Hey, Gloria. Do me a favor. Everyone look right below the video and just say great job at Constance Carter. Just say great job at Constance Carter. Look like look right below the video. We're going to encourage another entrepreneur whose page we pulled up on the spot. She had no idea. And now we're going to walk through here and we're going to help her generate leads and connect with groups and organizations because she has a vision for the people she was called to serve. Melanie Richardson, Constance Carter said, great job, Constance. Patrice Register said, great job, Constance. Thanks a lot. Gloria Coleman said, WTG, Constance. What does WTG stand for? Nina, do you know? WTG. Me either. All right, I don't know what WTG stands for. Somebody help me out with WTG. I really honestly don't know. Um, Pam Love Manny said, great job, Constance. Oh, it's way to go. Wait, you think it's... Way to go. Way to go? That's not way to go. You think it's way to go? Did you you Google it? No, I just used my brain. You're just using your... Oh, you just used the brain. Did she have to take a swipe? Was that like, <laughs> what? What? Okay, okay. Everyone's putting way to go. Okay, you use your brain. <laughs> I got a brain, too, over here. Just let you know that. Thank you very much. Um, I know you were preoccupied, so I used mine. Okay, thank you. Cheryl Pope Clark said, great job, Constance. Melody Richardson Phillips said, it is way to go. Got it. Thank you so much. You guys are rock. Let's give her a heart. Okay, so she wants to connect with women groups. How do we do this over here? Talk to me, Nina. So, so we want to go to the search bar at the top. Okay. And literally, let's just, like, let's do the obvious. Type in women of color. Women of of color you think you think you think something's gonna come up oh yeah oh wait a minute wait a minute oh this is really good okay so constance carter was very specific she says uh constance carter put your vision down there because i forgot your vision i think she said i my vision is to help people specifically women of color have uh, gain financial freedom i think it was and leave a legacy i think that was it i can't remember constance yes. carter put that down But she said women of color. So, Constance, make sure you put down what your vision is. Everyone right now, and I'm telling you, we're going to help you out. Look right below the video and put my vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. We want to know what your vision is. I don't care about what you're selling. I don't want any product pushing pimps right now. I only want people who have a vision for the people they were called to serve. And we're going to help them right now. Okay, we're in Constance Carter. Constance Carter said women of color we just typed in women of color inside of linkedin now this is very important because the number one complaint i hear is i don't have enough leads i don't know who i should be talking to i need a new list i need new people i need new friends i need new groups look 
We are helping you right now. Use LinkedIn that is free. If it's free, it's for me. All right, so I've typed in women of color. Okay, now there's women of color pharma. There's women of color advancing peace. Oh, there's a lot of here. Okay, so what would I do if I wanted to connect with one of these? Well, like this so, Women of Color Empowerment Institute, not so for profit. Oh. So what's there is a mixture of companies and groups. Okay. And so if you just hit enter so that you can go to the search result page. I hit enter. Uh, okay. Is this so right? this is right. So yeah, it's fine. So look at my picture. I hate that picture. I got hair and a tie. I hate that picture. I got to change that picture. <laughs> that is so, so embarrassing. So go back to the top. Okay. Uh, scroll back up. So when you see there's people, there's jobs, there's content. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm a little slow. I see Talia Fox. I see that. So above that, above that. Above that. Oh, oh, I see people, people jobs, jobs, content. content. Oh, look and at this. This, this, this person is connected with Dr. Pam Love Manning, who's who's on here right now, by the way. She's she's on here. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, sorry. Keep keep going. Sorry. So and click on more where you see the word more, okay. there's a drop down. So Constance Carter, we're picking on more. Now for those folks that are just joining, we're in Constant Carter's LinkedIn profile. You got Nina, the founder of Social Media success networks now she does a whole lot of things but tonight she's decided to be the expert and step up with linkedin she knows linkedin she knows the platforms and we're talking about generating leads we understand a principle let me give you a principle of business gloria coleman i see you my vision is to help women of color gain financial freedom and create a legacy she put that down for you constance here is the principle leads represent hope no leads no hope a principle is something that guides you. A principle is a belief system. A principle is the cornerstone. So as an entrepreneur, if we believe that leads represent hope and no leads, no hope, then we know lead generation is one of our strategies. So if I want to 10x my revenue, I need more people who have a problem. Um, if I want to grow my network and grow my movement, and a movement is just a concept or idea that people are rallying around, and that's why you're in business, then I've got to generate more qualified leads. Um, if I'm looking right now to improve my marketing or improve my branding or improve my automation, one of the ways I need to do that is to serve more people. You are a sales visionary, so I know that you have a vision for the people you were called to serve, but what good does it do to have a vision, think about Moses, and you not do anything to get the resources to execute that vision? If Moses sat there and said, I've got the vision, hopefully people are gonna find me, guess what happens? You might not be here today. I might not be here today, in all seriousness. But the truth of the matter is, is that he had a vision and then he went and got the resources to execute that vision. So that's what we're doing here. We're going to find people who have a problem. Back over to you, Nina. Back over to you. I just wanted to frame the conversation. And if you're out there and you're someone who wants to serve, we do this often, but I want to tell you, I want you to do it tonight. You want to serve. Holla if you hear me. You want to help someone else. Holla if you hear me. You want to make a difference in this world and a dollar. Just look right below the video. Look right below the video and just write these words. Sir, hashtag serve so big. Just look right below the video and just write these words. Hashtag serve so big. That's the bat signal to someone else out there that once they know what your vision is, they also know you're not just trying to sell them a product or a service. You want to serve. You want to change the quality of life for someone. You want to shift their business. Nina is here because she's here to hashtag serve so big and she's sharing the best ideas she know right now. All right, Nina, take it away. So one of the values of LinkedIn is there are many groups that people connect to and you can connect to. And so if you click on the words group in the drop down, then it'll we we've searched on the term oh, hold on, hold on. women. So of I got to click on the word group. Yeah. You see group. Yeah. I'm clicking on group. Constance, we're clicking right. on group. Uh, Michelle Pillar said hashtag serve so big. Melody Richardson Phillips said hashtag serve so big. Patrice. Register said, hashtag, serve so bill. Chantel Michelle Jackson, who drove all the way down. She's here in Washington, D.C., over at National Harbor right now, I'm sure. She's out there watching. 
Dr. Pam Love Manny said, hashtag serve so big. We should, we, should, we should check out Dr. Pam Love Manny's thing too. Was she here last time? I can't remember. We should check hers out. I'm going to go check yeah. yours out next, Dr. Pam Love Manny. Um, Gloria Coleman said, hashtag serve so big. Okay. So I clicked on groups. I clicked on groups and we're looking right. for women of color. That's what, that's what Constance Carter said her specialty is. Women of color who are ambitious and professional. Okay. Talk to me, Nina. So she could have the option to connect and ask to join any of these groups. Most groups are open um, to professionals who are looking to join and support that are in alignment with what they're doing. So you can you can see the counts, how many people are in the group. So, so if I clicked here, I'm going to click on the click first there. one. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at National Professional Women of Color Network. Some of y'all out there, y'all have the same gift. Hey, Lakeisha. What, what she said, my vision is to help people of color regain knowledge of health and self. I got you. Hey, Nestle, thanks for joining. Sheila Ashley, it is always a pleasure. Michelle, I see you. Hashtag serve so big. Okay, our goal is we're helping Constance Carter. And Constance Carter says she works with women of color. I'm now on the side of LinkedIn. I went and typed in women of color. Then we went to groups. Now, in the first group I see that popped up was National Professional Women of Color. Am I right, Nina? Yes, you are. Okay, so tell me something about this group before I click on it. So click on it, and you can see the description right there, but it'll also show you again once you okay. click on the group. The Professional Women of Color Network, a diverse multicultural organization, facilitates and encourages strategic business relationship amongst all women of color. I clicked, I clicked join. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if I let guys join. Anyway. I, We'll, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, okay, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. I'm sure it's equal opportunity. We'll find out. Okay, so I'm looking here. There's 1,100 members. Thank you. I know Deborah Crimes, uh, Crims, she's on here. Um, mm -hmm. We got the about group rules. So you can have rules on your page, right? This is group rules. Yes, there are rules in the group. Okay, so let's look at some of the rules. All postings will be moderated and the following guidelines apply. Professional women members, part of LinkedIn group also active. Got it? LinkedIn group members, not active. I don't understand what all this is. Oh, this is how they do their let. Okay, happy networking. So, Constance Carter, we're gonna help you out. One of the things I knew about groups that I, I because of Nina, by the way, and I'm, I'm learning as I go, is that you look at the bottom of the description and it says professional women of color, info at pwocn.org. Now, it has a phone number here. It has a phone number. So Constance Carter is thinking, I want to connect with women of color and help them create financial freedom and build a, a legacy for future generations. I'm paraphrasing. Hey, Malika, I see you. Hashtag serve so big. I'm on deck. I'm listening while working. All right. That's pretty cool. Nina, say hello to the Malika who's out there listening and working. Hi, Malika. Thanks for joining us. And keep working. <laughs> she's just amazing, isn't she? Yes. Oh, she's incredible. Um, okay. And so now Constance Carter can now get this number. Now, I talked about earlier that leads represent hope. No leads, no hope. That is a principle. That's a principle of business. So Constance Carter, who walked on, who had no leads with women of color from LinkedIn, now goes to LinkedIn. She has a phone number. She has an email she has a website. Let's see if I go to the website. Let's see if the website works. She has a website. Let's see here. Can you still see this over here when I switch? Okay. Yes. Be careful. I don't. I don't want y'all all on my on my computer. What's up over there? Let me holler. Okay. So now we can go to the women professional women of color web page, and this is why Nina says some earlier. And Nina, I think it went by everybody. We were on Constance Carter's page. Now, all y'all can connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm Shay Brown. Connect with Nina on LinkedIn and connect with Constance Carter. We were reviewing Constance Carter's profile and it had a lot of glory words, but there wasn't a link inside of there to connect. So imagine if somebody want to connect with Constance Carter. There's no phone number. There was no email. And so if they weren't directly connected with her, they couldn't do what we just did here. Now I've got a phone number, I got an email, I've got a web page, and, and and with that understanding now, 
hear me, hear me, hear me. I'm going somewhere with this. Now Constance Carter can immediately go to their business page and see they have a business page here. I don't know if you can see everything else. Can you see everything? You can just see the screen, I think. Okay. Yeah. Go to the business page. She can click on about us. And now, now, hear me, hear me, hear me. Hopping on the laptop and updating now. Constance Carter, she said she happened, she's hopping on her laptop right now, Nina. See, I told you, <laughs> Constance Carter don't play. I'm going to tell you, y'all want to connect with Constance Carter. Constance Carter doesn't play. I just pulled up. Now, there's a Miko Larson. Now, mm-hmm. I didn't know who the founder of Professional Women of Color, but she's taking the time to build a LinkedIn group. Um, she has 1,100 members. On this LinkedIn group, I found her going to her page. That means she has a web page, and she has her photo there and her name. So if I want to connect with her, which I'm gonna, we're going to talk to Constance Carter about how she should connect with Miko in just a moment. So that's your cue, by the way, over there, Nina, that, you know, how well, she... So with her. she can go back to LinkedIn. Okay, so I'm 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 gonna go to LinkedIn for her because I'm not on her page, but I'm taking right. her name here. Copy go. now. Should I open go, up another? No, op- go, just go back to the group. Okay. Scroll up. Scroll up. Okay. If you scroll all the way up to the top and look a little to the right, you'll see where it says group admin. Oh my There's gosh! Me. I didn't even know that was there. There you go. That's the owner and the seat. So you can just click on that. And go to her profile page. Click on her name. Okay, I'm clicking on her. I'm clicking on her name here. Whoa, she has a good banner up there. She's not playing around. Mm-hmm. Constance Carter, look at this. She's not playing around. Okay, so first I'm going to connect, but I'm going to send a message when I connect. Right? That's what I want to do. Yes. Okay, hold on. So connect. Click and I'm going to add a note. Then add a note. Right. Okay. So everyone should connect with her. By the way, I'm going to just connect and say, "Hi, Miko. This is." This is Shea Brown. Um, we are re- we are reviewing <laughs> your group. We uh, we are reviewing your group and have several women of color very interested in connecting and networking. Give me, give me a call. Let's chat. Let's chat and collaborate. And how do you spell collaborate? C L O R. Lab. Lab. Thank you so much. Thanks. Let's 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 collaborate. Let's chat and collaborate together. Together. I'm doing this real time. Together, we will make a difference in the world in the world Shay Brown a happy entrepreneur now I'm gonna do something really funky because I'm it's just Shay Brown so I got to be a little funky over here uh connect with Constance do I have enough, do I have enough space Oh, hold on. Don't worry, everyone. Um, Don't panic. Rule number one, don't panic when you run out of space. (laughs) Connect with Constance Carter. So I'm going to try to refer to one. There we go. Hi, Mika. Now, every one of you can do this. Now, now, the reason I want you to see this as you're out there, by the way, the reason I want you to see this is that when you are connecting to someone, one of the things you want to do is, is exchange value for value. So yes, I want to connect with her and that's important, but I'm also connecting her with Constance Carter and saying, here's someone else that wants to connect with you as well. So I'm hitting send the invitation. Uh, Nina, why, why is that important? Why is what important? When, when you're sending off a note, why is it important to, when you connect with someone, why is it important to add a personal note there? It established the the groundwork of the relationship building. You know, it's so I'm not just a stranger. I want to introduce myself, share a little bit of why I want to connect with you, who I am and what the benefit may be for the other person is, you know, it's not like just walk a stranger walking up and saying nothing, but they want your phone number. That doesn't make sense. So say something. Now, I wish LinkedIn. Oh, what is this? What, what, what did I do? 
So uh-uh. she has a business page, a company page for uh, her organization. Whoa, okay. so so Constance Carter, you have someone on here that, and then we picked the first one, by the way, but um, Miko, who's the founder, she has a business page. And one of the things that Nina talked about earlier, one of the things Nina talked about earlier was you should have a business page for your business that you're doing. And they'll have a personal page, have personal connections, but have a business page as well, have a business page as well. She has one, and as a result, we found it. I'm going to follow it because this is the National Professional Women of Color. I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay. And and now I can see that she's taking time and has some postings that are going up. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Got it. Now, could she have videos posted here as well? She could. Okay. All right. This is, this is good. This is good. All right. So I'm, I'm rocking and rolling now. This is good. Constance Carter has a business page. She says, okay. Yes, so, she does. I didn't go look. So how do I, how do I go to Constance Carter business page? Go back to her profile. Constance Carter. Let's go to Constance Carter, everyone. Okay. And then she has Catalyst Real Estate Professionals that. But I don't yeah. I don't see the business page. So click on click go back up right up below where it says Chief 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 Executive Officer. Yes. Right below that. Yeah. Click on that. Oh, here's a page here. Yes, that's our business page. Okay, so the business page has the website too. She also needs to add too. a banner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's gonna work on a banner. I already know that. Um, she's she's very similar to me. She hasn't been on here in a couple of years, by the way. But that's that that's fine. This is not a beat me up session, everyone. This no. is a session, right, Nina? This is not a beat me up session. Oh no, not at all. We just wanna we wanna get you tight. We want to get you tight. I need to be tight. I mean, my, my page looks just as bad. My page, let me go back. Mine looks just as bad because I have, well, you got Shea Brown. You have my son, Shea Brown Jr. Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty cool? I didn't even know he had a page. Man, can I get a page like that too? That's Oh, I, his page looks nice. I know. You know, you, you can do that when you're in your 20s. You know, I used to look like, I used to look like my son when I was in my 20s too, by the way. FYI. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Operation support services, safety. Oh, yeah. He's doing a lot there. This is pretty cool. I know he had a page. Okay. Uh, look, I, I'll just say great page, son. How's that? I'm going to say great. I wonder if he gets it. Great. Now, when I hit message, why did it put the message at the bottom? What is that about? Because that it opened up the LinkedIn messenger functionality. Oh, I see. Because, be, because you're already connected to him. Okay. So how do I write the message? Uh, just write, type. All right. And then click on send. We are reviewing. You say, why are you reviewing my page? You see, as you can tell, I can't type, can't you? It's okay. Reviewing on line now, live. <laughs> oh boy, that's funny. Okay, that is hilarious. I've never done it before. I didn't even know that. Okay, well, I'm the I'm the younger looking guy here with the red tie on and hair on my head like him okay so i get that now this has been very very helpful um constance carter had a question she said what's when when's the difference what is the difference in the type of mail we receive uh okay constance i'm not sure i understand that do you, do you understand her question so um there are two different ways you can send a message to people on LinkedIn. There's something called in mail, I in mail. That means you don't have to be connected to them and you can send them a message and they can reply. Or if they are connected to you, then you can just send a regular message. So that may be what she's referring to. Ah, I got it. I got it. I got it. She's in mail versus other type of inboxes. Is there a difference? So it all shows up in your messenger inbox. Um, but yeah, it'll it'll show that it's an in mail message. Usually it'll be framed with in mail and it's typically people that you aren't already connected to. But those people are probably using a premium service on LinkedIn, so they have in mail uh options to, to use. I got it. You know, here's here's what I want to do. I noticed that this you can also put videos. This is Suleiman, one of my connections. 
Um, he's also with Diverse Force, by the way. Um, they're African, they're African American group. I know that he's located in Philly, by the way. I see he has a great video here that's really, really, really caught my attention, by the way. So you can put videos inside of LinkedIn as well. Yes, you can do videos. Um, the maximum length is 10 minutes, but the recommended length is two to three minutes. Okay, cool. So here's, here's, I'm going to do two things and then I'm going to, we're going to bring down home stretch. One is I want to thank Constance Carter for, for being up there and doing such a great job. Number one, if you're out there right now, you're like, look, I need to customize um, my LinkedIn or um, I, I need to generate more leads. Um, I need to get the replay. I need the notes from this. I need my review. Here's what I'm going to do. Text the word revenue. Just text the word revenue to 202-999-3515. Again, text the word revenue to 202-999-3515. First thing I want you to do, do that right now. If you're like, I'm, I'm way out of whack. I'm like so far out. I need to be brought in right away. And then I'm going to ask Nina if she'll do something special. For folks who are texting the word revenue, I'm going to ask her if she would, um, if she has the time for maybe a handful of you, do a, a, a personal session with you just to do a review because I've, <laughs> I'm in about <laughs> generating the revenue, but, but Nina really gets into um, um, helping those out there make sure that their LinkedIn is set up correctly. She's very, very keen on all the social media platforms. I asked her to talk about LinkedIn because the entrepreneurs that I'm talking to, it may not be you. They're looking for multiple lead generation sources, but LinkedIn is not one. So just in the time we had, we just went here and we typed in women of color. I wonder if I put men of color. And if I just want to work with men of color, I could type in men of color. And all of a sudden now I'm looking and there's men of color at University of North Carolina, corporate council men of color. It's a training organization. I can click on it. They have an updated website, by the way, they have an updated page and I could follow it. So the reason I'm saying this is that when I'm working with people now, the first thing I'm going to do is say, look, who do you work with? Who, who is the vision you have for the people you were called to serve? And now you at least have one approach. Now we'll get into how to set up your business page, how to set up your, your corporate page in a little while, but I want you to do me a favor. If you're out there saying, Shay, I need to hear this a second or third time. Shay, I need to step up my lead generation efforts. Shay, um, this is my moment. This is my time. And if leads represent hope for the revenue goal I have for the people I want to help. Well, honestly, Shay, I don't have much hope when I'm looking at the at the. The leads that are in my system right now, the prospects that are in my system right now, and it's time for me to expand into new networks, into new places, into new spaces and to build new collaborations. Here's all you got to do. There's no cost. It's worth a conversation. It's worth a conversation. I'm going to tell you what we're going to refer you to, Nina. I'm going to tell you, but let's have that conversation about your business. Here's what you do. Text the word revenue. Text the word revenue. Text the word revenue to this number, 202-999-3515. Again, 202 202- 999-3515. You text the word revenue to 202-999-3515, and then we can connect with you. Now, do that now. There will be a special bonus gift that will be released to you. There'll be a special bonus gift that will be released to you. Secondly, I've asked Nina to take some time and maybe once a week, even if it's uh, something, a message to post in the Happy Entrepreneurs Group around social media. I'm going to recommend you connect with Nina. I'm going to recommend you have a one on one session first. I'm going to ask Nina to share at least three tips or three ideas that any entrepreneur can use in order to really utilize LinkedIn as a platform to generate leads. So the window she'll be speaking from is, hey, look, we've covered a lot of things tonight and she might recap some of the things we've talked about. She might recap some of the things we had on the last episode, but but she's going to take a moment and say, look, here's one. Here's two. Here's three things. And she's going to walk you through it. Now, she showed you how to do the search. That's like the basic functionality. And it's easy to do, but it's easy not to do. And I, I, not Constance, Shea Brown, I never did that. I've talked about doing it. I've told folks in training to do it. But I'm like the hairdressers whose hair is never done. Well, I really don't have hair I say but I'm like the hairdresser I should say whose whose hair is never done uh and so now as I go over here and, and I type in I say wow I I want to I want to work with sales managers right and I just type in sales managers and I hit the search button I hit the search button 
And all of a sudden, if I'm in sales and I want to invite someone to a sales webinar or to a sales event, I now have a list of sales managers that I can at least invite and share what's going on. Does it mean they're going to no? It's not about selling them. It's about providing value. And if I said to myself, I'm following Nina. Nina did the training, okay? She showed Constance Carter what to do, but if she showed Constance Carter, she showed every one of us what we can do. She said, go to more. Click on more. Shay, you want to just join groups with sales managers? Well, do, do I want sales managers or do I want groups with salespeople? What if I want group with salespeople in it? Um, Nina, what would I do? I like this. Hmm. Sales groups? Yeah, I mean, you could try uh, sales professionals. Sales professionals. But I love how Nina just comes off the... Nina didn't know we were going to do this, by the way, but we did it. So, let's say I'm sitting here and I, I help salespeople improve their sales. Now, Nina's going to provide so much value she said i said provide value i said provide value so look look right below the video as i'm going to this group look right below the video and type these words provide value provide value provide value and i'm clicking on technology sales professionals Eighty-one thousand members in that group i know a few people in this group at least six i'm going to request to join it so now i'll be in a group of other folks who are focusing on sales professionals i'll go back is it the back is that the right and I said medical device sales professionals. I used to do that with the National Association of Black Realtors. This is them right here. I used to speak to this group. I didn't know they had a group. 53,000 members are part of this group. I know Lakeisha. I know Bill Jones. He's the president of the Washington, D.C. chapter. I didn't even know this group even existed. I'm embarrassed. So I'm going to hit do what? Request to join. Who's the, who's the owner? Well, executive coach for business owners, solopreneurs, and medical device professionals. So... Tell us what he did here, Nina, that was really special. He started a group, but then he named the group for the folks he was looking for. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. Yeah. Yeah. Monica Nettle said provide value. La Lakeisha Woodworth said provide value. Hey, Telvin Jeffries. Hey, Tammy Lawrence. We're using LinkedIn as a way to generate leads. My profile sucks. It's in the trash. It's in the garbage. But now... If I want to work with people in the Netherlands, I would hit request group. So I'm not going to go through all this right now, but some people want to just be connected to other organizations that are out there and say, wow, how can I do that? Now, I can get specific. Is that correct? I could type in black sales professionals. Mm -hmm. If that don't exist, we're going to create that. Okay. All right. So I do this first. And then I go here because I just, I just want groups right now. Mm -hmm. There's the Atlanta Black Sales Professionals. I didn't even know this thing even existed. Isn't this the craziest thing? I'm going to look up. Oh, I'm going to go to Google right now. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, I've lost my mind. Yeah, let's go to GoDaddy. Hold on. Let's go to GoDaddy. <laughs> I just want to see if this domain is available just real quick. Don't, nobody buy this domain. Everyone pause. I'm going to give value. Don't worry. Black Sales Professionals. Let's just see. Do you think it's available? Yes or no? Mm. You no. Took, you, you, you took too long. Oh, ye of little faith. Oh, okay, it's taken. Don't <laughs> worry. With, I'm just curious. Let's go to this. Because I just took it. No. Who took it? Who brought it before <laughs> me? Black. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I can stop playing. I just want to see who owns the domain. Okay, so they're not doing anything with it. They probably want to sell you to it. Okay, so I was here, right? Okay, anyway. Um, okay, Nina, give them three ideas they can use while I'm now looking at... These are black sales professionals. There's not a lot of groups with black sales professionals, is, is it? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. What about but happy you... entrepreneurs? Hold on, let's, let's look at happy entrepreneurs. Happy. <laughs> Nina, Nina, tell me what groups right now. Happy entrepreneurs. So groups are a great way for you to, to okay. kind of reach outside of your existing network and connect with new people, share, look for people to collaborate with. Another good tip 
for finding your target audience or possible prospects. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Nina. Go back to tip number one. Here's tip number one. Everyone, everyone write down tip number one. Okay, hey, Gina, I see you out there. Montrese, I see you out there. All right, Nina's giving tip number one. Nina, what is tip number one? Tip number one is search and find groups that could have your target audience in it. Okay. Tip number one, everyone, everyone write down tip number one. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and put tip number one. Search for and find groups that are in your what? Target audience. In your target audience. Okay, that's tip number one. Now, I'm going to give this as a homework assignment. Someone is going to do it. Intellectually speaking, every single one of you are not going to do it. You're just not. But here's the good news. You can. No, no, you can. No, you can do this. All right. What's tip number two, Nina? Make sure you join the group. Okay. Make sure you join the group. Okay. So, so the, the second major tip, though, is hashtags. Okay. The, the same thing that you use, like, women, like we did for Constance, women of color, mm -hmm. where you look for groups, she can do search for hashtag women of color all together and find um, content that she may want to follow. Mm. I like that. I like that. That's good. What's the third thing? So the third thing is uh, dental sales professionals. I didn't know dental sales professionals even existed. The largest dental sales professional group on LinkedIn. Okay. Not for long. Not for long. Okay. Keep on going. <laughs> Sir, when you use the search, think about adding regional references to it. So in New York or in Washington, D.C., you may get more search results that would be more relevant for you. Ah, okay, okay. Look, first of all, this is really, really helpful. This is really, really helpful. Uh, Malika Courtney said, search and find groups and target audience. Number two, join the group. And number three, she got search hashtags for content to follow. Okay, got it, got it, got it. And that, is that three you gave us so far? Are you giving us three? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, so now... Um, I see the folks out there. I still going to look at one other person. Then we're, we're, we're going to get out here tonight. Dr. Pam Love Manning. I'm going to Dr. Pam Love Manning's page. Um, and so now we have her page up. I'm looking at her page. She says, AKA the finisher, president of DP Love Associates. Okay. So she needs to change her what on here? What's the first thing Dr. Pam Love Manning needs to change? Her cover image, her banner. Her banner. Okay. I got that. I got that. And then I click show more. And the second thing she needs to change in here, she needs to add something to it, Nina. What should she add to this section? Her contact information or call to action. Okay. So Dr. Pam Love Manny, one thing you can add is your contact information and your call to action. And your call to action. Now she and I are connected, correct? Correct. Okay. And how do you know that? Uh, because it's green right here. No. Oh, <laughs> because I can, is, when I message her, I can send a direct message. You can send a message, but also because it shows first, that's a first degree connection. So ah. that lets you know that you are direct connect to her. Oh, I didn't know that. So right here, you got to look right here to see if you're a first, second or third degree connection. Correct. Got it. Okay. This is very, very helpful. We got 127 mutual connections. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Activities that she follows. I see that. President over here, adjunct professor. I see that. Founder and president. Got it. Associate professor. Got it right here. Okay, so all her stuff is right here. PhD, University of Maryland, Morgan State. Uh, Morgan State's very important. That's my alma mater, by the way. Morgan State's oh. very important. That's my alma mater, just to let y'all know. Uh, Morgan so State University, it's, HBCU. <laughs> is Morgan State important? Yeah, I, very, I, important. I very important. It's very important. Very important. I'm going to go on Morgan State. I, I probably not even connected to Morgan State. I better follow my Morgan State page, huh? That's the kind of thing. How about that? <laughs> okay, I'm going to do that right now. That's, that's, that's more, it's more mail I got coming to me, I'm sure. Okay. But question to you, how, oh, I gotta, how would I connect with alumni from this page? Oh, it's, hmm. you can't do that, huh? You can. You can search and find if their school was Morgan State. Oh, I got you. 
Gotcha, gotcha. That's that's good stuff. All right. So one thing I want to do is I want to give uh, Nina a digital applause. I want to give her a digital applause. I've been over here working on it, trying to get this thing going over here. And I'm going to ask uh, I'm going to ask Nina if she would if she would take a moment and, and kind of talk about the importance of of using LinkedIn in your business. She's giving you three quick steps, and then we're going to conclude, and then we're going to ask uh, Nina to come back. We're going to ask her to come back. But let's let's let's. <laughs> I've already asked if she would post in the group and post a video or something inside the group to help give us some tips that we can use, some you know, two to three or four minutes. Um, but do me a favor, look right below the video, look right below the video. Let's give her a digital applause. Let's at least say, great job at Nina. Great job at Nina. Great job at Nina. She walked us through. Um, I'm going to say probably for most of us, myself included, uh, uh, what, what did I do wrong? One of the most difficult things to do and one of the most difficult things to do is to go to your LinkedIn and to start an application that you didn't have. Like, and like, so if I wasn't using LinkedIn before and it wasn't part of my strategy, I now can add as part of my strategy. When you come back in here next time and you, you connect with me at Shea Brown, I won't have hair. Don't worry about it. We're going to get rid of this picture. I won't have a tie on. We'll get rid of that as well. All right, Nina, talk to us. Give us a couple ideas to use. Uh, April in Phil said, great job, Nina. The way we're giving a digital applause. Dr. Pam Love Manning said, great job, Nina. Audrey Woodley said, great job, Nina. Uh, LaShonda Woodley said, great job, Nina. Nina, you're doing a great job this evening. Um, I'm going to go search for groups. I want everyone to make a commitment out there. Um, the number one form of accountability for entrepreneurs is sales and is avoided by entrepreneurs. So I want you to make a commitment that you're going to go connect inside of LinkedIn with at least 10 groups, 10 groups. You're going to go do a search. You're only doing it so you can go through the practice because, you know, sales is like going to the gym. Um, Nina can come bring you a gym membership and you've got all the equipment there, but you still got to do the work. And sales the same way. When I go to the gym, I've got to do the work. I've got a personal trainer that I meet with on Mondays and Fridays, but I still, when I meet with Anthony, I still have to do the work. Well, the same holds true. Nina can only bring the content here. She can only bring the information here. So she's opening the doors to the gym so you can walk into that gym and you have all the resources you need right here to be successful. If you didn't run one ad anywhere, LinkedIn for many of you is untapped and it's the first source that you could use. I'm stepping up my game. I'm going to ramp it up. I'm going to change my banner. I said that last time and I didn't. Don't worry. I'm going to do it this time. Um, um, I, I said I was going to change my picture. I, I didn't do that either. Don't worry. I'm going to do it. I said I was going to update Partners of Learning. I, I didn't do that either. But it's been four years since I've been in here. So I'm going to make it this week. That's going to be a priority. Um, Gloria Coleman said, great job, Nina. Melody Richardson said, great job, Nina. Gianna Brown said, great job, Nina. Nina Montrese Robinson said, great job, Nina. If you're willing to make a commitment that you're going to at least have 10 new group connections, and I want you to reach out to 10 people on LinkedIn and connect with them by sending a message just like I did tonight, just like I did tonight. Now, she has not responded. I'm looking at notifications to see if she responded. So um, hopefully she may respond. She's the president. She may never. I don't know. But I at least sent the message. I at least sent the message. If that's you, look right below the video. Look right it is late, Shay. It, it depends on where you are in the world. If you're in, if you're in London, it's eight a.m. in the morning. It depends on where you are in the world. If you're on the West Coast, you're, you're, the party just starting. Come on, somebody. It, it depends on where you are. But if you're willing to be held accountable, if you're willing yeah. to step up, if you're willing to say, you know what, I'm going to ramp my game. Here's the action. I believe the universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. You don't have to use a credit card. You will not need Zelly. You will not need Cash App. You will need your fingers. You will need your fingers. Here's, here's what you can do. Look right below the video. Look right below the video. And when you look below the video, I'm sorry, open up your browser and you're going to text the word revenue. Text the word revenue. It's only for folks who want to generate revenue. Text the word revenue. Text the word revenue. Again, text the word revenue to 202-999-3515. Again, 202 202- Nine 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 three five one five. Again, text the word revenue to two zero two nine 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 three five one five. Once you do that, that means you're part of this this little accountability group, and we're all we're going to ramp our game up between now 
in one in seven days from now. Now in seven days from now. Now we only have a short episode, but I'm gonna ask Nina to do a, a quick, you know, I don't know, ten minute episode. Go right into LinkedIn, share something cool, share something nifty, and we all can do that together. Now, many of you are gonna need to connect with Nina. Some of you are gonna need to work with Nina and her company and her organization. I get that. She came just to serve, so she's not here saying buy something and all that. She came to serve, but if you get to that level, we have our conversation. And, you know, she's a good resource to go to, and certainly we're gonna recommend Nina. All right. With that being said, Nina. Um, go ahead and share um, a couple of ideas as we close out for those folks that are out there that um, are like, I'm going to do it, Nina. Uh, just, just help me out. So so let me just share a couple of points about LinkedIn. A lot of people are like, yeah, I don't need another platform to be on. But think about the gold rush where people said there's gold out west. And some people went and took the time to go out and explore and do the work to get the riches. And then the people who came after, they may have found a little less and eventually it dried up. So LinkedIn is right now in gold rush stage. Mm. There's over. I like that. Gold rush stage. Oh, I'm going to use that. Look, everyone look right below the video. I couldn't use this one. Look right below the video. Just put LinkedIn. Go rush stage. LinkedIn go rush stage at Nina. Look, LinkedIn gold rush stage. I'm rushing there. I'm making this a priority. Nina is leading the charge. She's not asking what you know about. She's not asking what you heard about. She's asking what are you going to do? This is all about what are you going to do? So I don't need you to wish for it. I need you to work for it. I don't need you to have a mindset about it. I need you to be in motion about it, okay? We can do this together. All right, Nina, continue on. Look right below the video and put LinkedIn, go rush at Nina. That's cool. I like that. They say that the average people that have accounts on LinkedIn make 75K or above. You may have in your prospect pool, that may be your prospect, people who are making that or higher. So why not go to where they are, to where they act are actively looking for information and resources? The C-suites, they're active on LinkedIn. If you're a C-suite person, if you're looking for professional women of color like myself, I'm on LinkedIn. My peers are on LinkedIn. This is where you, you go where they are and of the mindset to do business. I have an account on Facebook. I do work on Facebook, but my business mindset and when I'm looking to connect, I'm on LinkedIn because I can validate you and find out more about you on LinkedIn. So don't miss the opportunity. That's one of my passion points. I don't want to see our community missing the gold rush. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. You know, you know, you should you should really make that a focus point. I like that. LinkedIn go rush stage. LinkedIn go rush stage. Montree said LinkedIn go rush stage. Melody Richardson Phillips said LinkedIn go rush stage. Pamela Manning said LinkedIn go rush stage. I know some of y'all are struggling with finishing what you start. I know some of y'all have some some goals you need to get there. Don't worry. I'll be reaching out to Dr. Pam Love Manny and ask her to come on an episode and and talk about how to finish, like how to finish what you start because Nina's getting you going, right? And you you might have some other goals like that, but Nina's going to be with us on an ongoing basis. And she's like, she's the social media success network. That is, that is the organization she's founded social media success network because well, Nina, tell them about Social Media Success Network. Tell them what the mission is. Tell them what the, the goal is. Tell them why it exists. So in today's world, you cannot be successful in business if you don't have a social media strategy, a digital strategy. And too many people are stumbling around trying to figure out how to make it work. And they do one-offs or, or one-off here or one-off there. So one of the things that we're building as a part of Social Media Success Network is an institute where you can go to and learn the things you need to learn. Starting at the beginning, some people try to give you like high school level when you haven't gotten elementary level. Not, you know, we got to start where you are. So the training that will be available, the support that will be available to help you to be successful using social media for your business. 
and, and, and what's so important is that Nina stays and her organization stays on the cutting edge. The reason I came back to LinkedIn wasn't that I need another platform. And this is something that I had everyone put down before. It's another principle of business, a principle of business, a principle of something that you believe in. It's a core, it's, a, it's one of your core beliefs. It's the value that you hold. And here's what it is. See, back in the day, you used to be able to just say, come to me. In fact, when I was growing up, they said, build it and they will come. Of course, that's a lie, right? So a lot of folks said, well, I'm going to do that in social media. I'm going to build my website and they're going to come. No, no, no. I'm going to build my Facebook page and they're going to come. And then they said, well, if that doesn't work, I'm going to do a webinar over here and they're going to come. And what they found out, Nina, is guess what? They didn't come. And, and, and so there's this whole paradigm shift that's taking place. And that's why many of you who are texting the word revenue to 202-999-3515 is very, very important to stay in this conversation. You can get the replay of this as well. But here's the point, And here's the principle I want you to write down. And don't ever forget this. Like, I want it to be top of mind to you. And then we're going we're gonna to get out of here. But I want this to be top of mind to you. Be everywhere your prospects are. Be everywhere your prospects are. Let me say this again. Someone do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video. And, and we that's why we're using LinkedIn. Be everywhere your prospects are. Someone look right below the video and write these words. Be everywhere your what, Nina? Your prospects your are. Your prospects are, right? Now, now, I want you to put that down for it because when we work with, was it Constant Carter we worked with earlier? Yes. And we brought her on live. And, and she said she worked with women of color. She was very specific. And I just went to women of color. We typed it in. We hit enter. I'm just, for those folks that are just joining, she constantly have any leads. Imagine someone working with women of color, not in LinkedIn. So she's not everywhere they are. That is a problem. And so we went here. We went to more, which I had never done in my life. Hit groups just to start at groups. We found National Professional Women of Color, 1,100 members. We clicked on that. Now, Nina walked us through this, right? I see you out there, Constance Carter. Be e Constance still here. See, Constance is a student. Be everywhere they are. And then we went to Mika. I went to Mika. I applied to be a member. Don't hate. I, I applied to be a member of this group. No, I'm, I'm a man. Don't hate. Okay, and so then I sent Mika a personal note. I clicked on Mika's profile, and it said pending. Now, I don't know if I can see the message I sent her. Can I see the message I sent her? Uh, go to your messages up at the messages. top. Okay. So I sent her a message. Uh, no, it's not going to show you. Okay, you my son's message wait. is here. Why is her message Yeah, because you're, he's already a connection. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So... I sent her a message, and in my message, I said I wanted to connect with her, but I told her to connect with Constance Carter. I told her to connect with Constance Carter. So I was able to send her a message, but then for Constance Carter, you can do this as well. Look, for some of you, this is probably a $50,000 conversation. That's the value Nina's bringing right now to you. Between now and the end of your career, you have a vision for the people you were called to serve. You are a sales visionary. So you understand that sales helps you develop the resources necessary to execute that vision. But you got the other distinction that I offered, the other principle that leads represent hope. So Constance didn't have a lead. So we clicked on more. We read about this professional thing because they did what they were supposed to do. And where did I find it last time? Didn't I? Didn't I? Find oh, in the group. Under group, under group. Okay, so let me go we back. Group. All right, let me go back. Okay, so oh, we clicked on here, right? How did I get? Yeah, that? scroll down. Oh, help me, help me out. Oh God. Scroll down when you were looking at the group rules and information about okay. the group. Okay. Okay. I told you I'm still new. Okay, I'm not perfect either. Okay, but I'm getting better. Nina trained me. I'm I'm in training. I'm doing it. So I'm at the You're gym. You're doing great. But I'm doing it. So you need to be at. When you come to the lab, which is the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the, you can't even go anywhere else and get what we're sharing with you right now. It's part of a late night show. And Nina's doing this for free. She came to serve the giver's economy. So I clicked on the rules. I scrolled down with Constance Carter and I said, Constance, check this out. There's a phone number. Okay. Holla at your boy here. Someone said, that's pretty good. There's an email. What? 
Now, what we got to talk about providing value. Earlier, you typed the words provide value, provide value, provide value. Now, Constance Carter can reach out to professional women of color. And all I'm asking is for everyone who texts the word revenue to 202 999 3515, we've got one mission between now and the next time we come together with this episode. And that is we're going to connect with, did I say five or 10? I can't remember. But we're going to connect with 10 groups and we're going to connect with 10 connections that are not part of our LinkedIn right now. Now, I'm going to summarize what Lena, Nina said because this is so important for many of you. She said, Shay, before you go connected with these groups, there's some things you need to do. Sometimes you got to slow down to speed up. You got to slow down to speed up. She said, Shay, I got to do what on this page, Nina? You got to fix your profile, your, your banner. My banner. She said, your banner looks like you just like a, a robot out there. You got blue. That's code for you ain't done nothing, nothing, nada. You just lazy. I mean, it's basically saying I'm just lazy. Okay. Now, I haven't looked at this profile in four years. You can tell because I got hair. You can tell because I got a red tie on and a white shirt and a blue jacket. You can tell because I'm embarrassed. But don't worry about it. We're going to update this. The last video I did, I can't tell you the last video I did with this thing. That's how long ago it was. Oh, well, who knows? Okay, let me how do I close this thing. I'm embarrassed. I don't even want to see what I did. I had a hair back then. That's, that's enough right there. So once I update my profile, then I'm going to connect. Yeah, this is a long time ago. Then I'm going to connect with others. Is that, is that right, Nina? Yes, because people are going to check your profile before they start responding to you. Well, well I, didn't, I didn't know I had this endorsement. Endorsed by George C. Frazier. Wow. They, yep. Did you know that? I didn't know it. I don't check your profile. <laughs> Wait a minute. I did, okay, Nina, we have to, we have to go. We have to go. But 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 yes. But, all right. But one one thing, Nina, will you come back and tell us about endorsements? How do people endorse you and recommend you? What? Oh yeah, that's that's like gold. That's no 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 no. Proof. Don't do it on this episode. First, you no, gotta I'm text the word like... revenue to two zero two nine 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 three five one five. And then for some of you, you've got to have a private one-on-one -on -one session. Okay, we're going to talk about that. You give, look, 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 Nina, I want to come back and talk about, I didn't know I had an endorsement. Get that. Who was it yesterday? Was it Dr. Kinnett Thigpen that said, uh, shut the French toast up or something like that. I, <laughs> <laughs> she said, shut the French toast up, Shay. I'm like, shut the French toast up. What the heck is that? She's from North Carolina. Okay, that's a topic for another time. But I didn't know, I didn't know George Frazier endorsed me. What? I got to talk to Trevor Otts about this. I talked to Trevor Otz about this. What is now? What does this right here do? What is what is not? We're not gonna talk about this. That's another lesson. What people been endorsing me? Get the heck out of here! I had no idea. Oh, these people want look. If you're out there right now, you want to endorse Shay Brown and Nina? <laughs> Go to my LinkedIn profile. I'll connect with you, and let's all endorse each other. If you're if you're getting value from the lab. Matter of fact, yeah. the lab needs its own show. We're gonna have the happy. The lab needs page. to have its own page. Don't pay. Okay, okay. Nina, I'm going to work with you. I'm going to get with Trevor Ott. Oh, check this out. Now, what is you have two pending recommendations? I got to approve the recommendation? Yes. They don't just automatically go. You have to what? review them and approve them. This is 2012. I am embarrassed. Oh, my gosh. I had the pleasure of attending Shea Brown's Right Now Sales Boot Camp yesterday. If you know Shea Brown, I'm not sure you heard it before, but I repeat it for those who are not. The constantly shares. Oh, well, I'm gonna come back to this. I know it's even down here. Wow. Okay, we we gotta go, Nina. Uh, for everyone that's joining out there, let's let's give Nina. Uh, uh, Nina, you, Nina, you 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 know you can't leave us hanging. What? 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 What you need? Tell me. Not, Tell not me. now. Not now. But there's no way that I can have sales professionals, happy entrepreneurs. There's no way this can be the number one business development and revenue focus late night show in the country. There is no way that I didn't know Dr. George Frazier had endorsed me and we don't come back and talk about skills and endorsements and recommendations. Received and given. Right? Yes. Now, yeah. you got to tell us why we would give a recommendation. You got to tell us about that, but not now. Look, not now. Y'all connect with Nina. She has her own social media um, page, um, a group that she has, by the way. So first, you got to connect with her on LinkedIn. And if you connect with her on LinkedIn, maybe she'll share the secret page, which is it's a secret page, but Nina's pouring out all the time. Okay, Nina, we got to go. Give your closing comments, and as we do that, 
for all you who are still who are listening, who are watching, who shared this out, who paid this forward for Monica and 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 Melody and Gloria and Matrice and Lakeish. Hey, Spalding's on. I know Spalding's on. And Spalding and Audrea and Roger and so many of you who watch and share these comments and and share this out. We thank you humbly. We thank you. Without you, there is no show. Without you, we cannot do this. Without sponsors, we cannot do this. So. I want to give Nina an opportunity just to share her closing comments for all the entrepreneurs. Um, Nina's like you. Um, she has responsibilities. She has a family. She's here giving up her time. We recognize that Nina can always make more money, but guess what Nina can make? More time. That's right. More time. So do me a favor. Um, I know we gave her digital applause earlier. Let's give her another digital applause and just say, great job, Nina, for hanging in there because she ain't know what we were going to talk about. But she knew what we were going to talk about, but we didn't know. But that's all part of this show. I don't want this to be scripted. I don't want to be in a box. I want us to be disruptive. And I want us to help happy entrepreneurs get results in their life and results in their business. That's why we show up. Nina, your closing comments. Um, give them something inspirational. Give them something. I'm going to put her on the spot. Um, share Nina what folks can do in order to really live in their purpose and live in their passion. Um, two or three minutes of just encouraging and inspiring them who've been watching, who've been writing right below, who feel that, wow, um, I, I need to do more. Um, I, just, just give them, just, just share those comments. Um, um, over to you. Take it away. So what I would say is, First of all, you should be giving yourself an applause because you're here. You're here. You're learning. You're in and in, in receiving information to help your business grow. One of the things I will remind you, it's your race at your pace. Don't feel like you're running against anyone. You're just moving forward for you. So run your race at your pace because it's your assignment from God to do. So that's what I would say to you. Wow, that was good. Right on the spot. Your assignment from God to do. Look, you have a vision for the people you were called to serve. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and just say, um, do the assignment you were given to do. If you believe in God, you can put do the assignment God assigned you to do. Do the assignment that God decide, assigned you to do. You've got a vision. Now it's up to you to go get the resources. That's the sales visionary. You to get the resources. That's the sales visionary. You to get the resource. That's the sales visionary. So you can have the resources you need. Or sales helps you develop the resources you need to execute that vision. Together we're going to execute the vision. See, we don't show up here just to be chatting. We show up here to give you the resources you need to execute the vision that was given to you for yourself, for your loved ones, and for the ones you were called to serve. With that being said, uh, Sinatra Green said, blessings. I want you to know that, that you're amazing. Um, everyone here watching, you're incredible. You're wonderful human beings. Uh, thank you for all that you do, getting up every single day. Um, some of you have to take care of your family. Some of you take care of your kids. Some of you are single moms. Some of you are like myself, you're single dads. Some of you are dualpreneurs, which means you work eight hours or 12 hours a day, and then you come home and you work another eight to 12 hours on your business. I know, Shay, that's 24 hours. When do you sleep? That's my point. To all the dualpreneurs that are out there, uh, shout out to you. To all the entrepreneurs who, um, you know, you understand that selling equals service. And when you serve, you feel good about what you're doing. Shout out to you. And for those folks to give back to their community to make a difference, that's what this show is all about. It's all about you. It's not about Nina. And I'm telling you, it's not about Shea Brown. It's about the difference that you want to make in the world. So with that being said, by the way, with that being said, my name, by the way, is Shea Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Join us over at www.happyentrepreneurstribe.com. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you, we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless. And we wish you success. See you later. Bye-bye for now. Thank you for all your comments. Do my God-given assignment. I see you. Do my God-given assignment. Y'all rock. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are incredible. Talk to you.